Hello welcome back to Prime Promo today in Power Book 3, Raising Cannon Season 3 Episode 9, titled Home to Roost, the stakes are higher than ever for the Thomas family and their enemies. Marvin is on a frantic hunt for Lou, who is in trouble with the law and Howard. Ronnie and Cannon's war with Rack escalates, putting everyone in danger. Jukebox and Famous face a critical moment in their music careers, while Lulu spirals out of control with his drinking. Ronnie is unaware that Juliana is dead, and that her cousin, a powerful drug lord, has spared his life for now. He also learns that he has lost his supplier, as Rack has cut off the Southside Jamaica Queen's dealers. Howard is accused of corruption and framing Shannon by her father, Captain Burke, who also reveals Howard's connection to the Thomas family. Agent DHY is alerted about the federal task force that is investigating Howard and the Thomases. Ronnie tries to smooth things over with snaps and pop, but they turn on him when they find out he was getting drugs from Juliana. Rack reaches out to Howard for help in finding Lulu, who is missing after a shootout. Jukebox performs at the mall with her group, and takes the spotlight as the lead singer. Cannon attends the show, and is confronted by Rack and Marvin, who tell him to end his business with Ronnie. Cannon defends himself, saying that Rack killed Unique to take over his territory. Jukebox is questioned by Agent DHY and the FBI about her family's involvement in organized crime. Lou is arrested by Howard's cop buddies, who bring him to Howard. Lou accuses Howard of snitching on Scrappy, and blames him for his death. Howard threatens Lou with a gun, and tries to get information from him. Lou realizes that he is a dead man walking. Marvin rushes to the hospital for Gerald, who has overdosed. He finds out that Gerald's addiction caused him to neglect his daughters, one of whom drowned in the bathtub. The other one was taken away by the authorities. Gerald confesses that he was working with the FBI, and giving intel against Marvin and his family. The FBI tracks down Gerald, but it is too late. He is dead. Jukebox is interrogated by Agent DHY, but she remains silent. Agent DHY and Captain Baptiste confront Howard about his role in entangling Detective Burke in an internal affairs probe. They also question him about his link to the Thomas family. Howard denies the allegations. Ronnie, Snaps, and Pop confront Cannon about Rack's interference in their business. They want to get rid of Rack. Howard is furious when Rack shows up. Lou admits that he knows about the murders that have happened in the past decade, and that he was pretending to be clueless when the task force was questioning Marvin. Rack challenges him. Lulu begs Marvin to stop Rack from killing him when he shows up. Rack and Marvin take him to a secluded dark road. Lou pleads for his life. In the penultimate climax of the third season, Lulu's fate is uncertain. He either gets killed by Marvin and dumped, or he gets taken to a rehab facility by his siblings. Marvin either murdered Lulu and disposed of his body alternatively he resides in an alcoholic recovery rehabilitation facility that his siblings took him to upstate. Thanks for watching.